I, I think that uh, as they look towards Europe and they see the challenges with you know, extending a fight or protracting a fight, um, no one's going to win in, in that. Um, and I think that that has created uh, uh, some doubt uh, in their minds. Now, uh, the other side of it is, um, you know, deterrence is in the mind of the, of, the, uh, of the adversary, so you have to create a sense of what, is, what does that mean? And you're never going to really know, but what I'm, what I'm expressing earlier is through a training center in the Pacific, through Operation Pathways, through the creation of interior lines, the three ways that we're supporting the three pillars of the national defense strategy, I think that actually gives the joint force and our allies and partners the best positional advantage to create conditions of operational endurance and have staying power so that if, in fact, something were to happen, then we have created a dilemma right. on the adversary because we now are in a position to expand and uh, and be able to create conditions where we uh, would then have a position of advantage right. and that it's not over in 96 hours. And candidly, I'm not sure many wars are going to end that way. I've long stated this, that the, the A2 AD arsenal that the Chinese have designed is primarily designed to defeat right. our advantages in the air and maritime domain. And secondarily, it's designed to deny, degrade, and disrupt our advantages in space and cyber. It is not, however, designed to find, fix, and finish distributed, mobile, fixed, semi-fixed, reloadable, and networked land forces. So we have presented them through interior lines a dilemma that they did not calculate into the arsenal that they designed. Therefore, if that creates doubt, if that generates a sense of paranoia, good. Mm -hmm. 